Sweet friends, first of all, thank you and I'm very very glad that you enjoyed the Christmas tree tutorial. Thank you also for supporting me on Patreon. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, click in the link down below and join me. Join us in this adventure. Today we will learn together how to make this three-dimensional shape with pythons in it. It is composed by several peyote stitch triangles and this is a very basic pattern that you can use in many different ways. Let your imagination flow. To create the beadwork you will need side stand needles, bead weaving thread, your favorite one, two colors of size 11 delicate beads, nine 4mm spikons, two caps, and one pin. Pick up one delica and carry the bead to the end of the thread. Make a knot on the bead itself to fix it on the thread. Pick up two delica beads and carry the beads to the end of the thread. Sew through all the beads to close the working around. Pick up two delica beads and sew through the next one. Repeat the same step a second time. Repeat the same step a third time, but this time, since we are at the end of the round, sew through the next two beads. Pick up two delica and sew through the next one. Pick up one delica and sew through the next one. Repeat the same steps two more times until the end of the round on each side of the triangle. I'm going out from this bead here. Pick up two delica and sew through the next one. Pick up one delica and sew through the next one. Repeat the same step for a second time. Now repeat all the steps on every side of the triangle until the end of the round. I'm going out from this bead here on the corner. Pick up two delica and sew through the next one. Pick up one delica and then sew through all the beads until you reach this delica in here. In this way, we have to make room for the bicon. Pick up one more delica and sew through the next one. Repeat all the steps on every side of the triangle until the end of the round. New round. Pick up two delica and sew through the next one. Pick up one delica and sew through the next one. Pick up the bicon and sew through this bead here. Pick up one delica and sew through the next one. Repeat all the steps on every side of the triangle until the end of the round. Now we have to decorate the corners and we also have to add one more round of beads on the sides to be ready to connect this triangle with the other ones. This round for connecting must be done only on the sides of the triangle that have the bicons. That's important. Here we have the bicons on every side, so we are going to add the beads on every side too. Pick up one delica and sew through the next one. Repeat the step for a second time. Pick up another delica and sew through the bicon and go on like this until the end of the round. The first triangle is completed. Before tying off the thread, sew through the beads several times until you feel that the thread is fixed on the beadwork. I am making another triangle like the first one. I've just added the bicons on two sides and I have to complete the third and last side. This side will be connected to the first triangle, so we don't have to place the bicon. I'm going outside this bead here. Pick up one delica and sew through all the beads until you reach the delica here. In this way. Now pick up another bead and complete the round. Put also a single delica bead on every corner. And now we have to place the beads to connect the triangles only on the sides where the bicons are, here and here, not here. 
place the two triangles side by side, in this way. I'm going out this bead here, on the second triangle, and I sew through the next telica on the first triangle. Then I sew through the next telica on the second triangle, and I go on until I join the two sides of the creation. Before tying off the thread, sew through the beads several times until you feel that the thread is fixed on the beadwork. Make a third triangle with one bicon. You can see there are always six pairs of delica on the corner. And since there is only one bicon, we have to add one more round of beads only on this side. Join this third triangle on the other two, as we have just seen, and the first half of the creation is completed. Now, to make the second half of the creation, make three triangles like this, following the same rules we have just seen. Connect them all together following the same steps. Here's the second half of the creation. Then connect the two parts of the beadwork sewing in an alternated way as we did before. Before tying off the thread, sew through the beads several times until you feel that the thread is fixed on the beadwork. Put the cap on the pin, then put the beadwork and the second cap. Make an eye at the top of the pin using a round plier. Now you can turn your beadwork into an earring or a pendant. The creation is completed. So, thank you so much for watching, thank you for supporting me on Patreon and see you soon in the next video. Bye bye!